Hey everyone, you're watching Ready Set Drone. I'm Tate. Today we're going to be reviewing and building the Flyblocks DIY drone kit. So let's get into it. So the Flyblocks DIY drone kit uh, is a build and fly drone and basically what you do is you build it with these fun little blocks that come with it and then you fly it around with this remote so it's actually a hexacopter so that's it comes with six motors whole bunch of props it comes with a whole bunch of blocks for you to build six motors and your instruction manual which is very important because I'm not smart enough to build this without this just a heads up and then yeah it tells you sort of like what to do and what blocks to put on through every step so now we can see what blocks we need right here and we can start it up uh, so you might want to get a bowl uh, for all these little black pieces that you have because they do roll off the table very easily And I want to mention that these instructions are very nice. Um, they're very easy to follow I used to do Legos when I was a kid and um, So I think I have some experience with that and You know, it's pretty simple to build and I think even if you're not very experienced You can still build it now I'm putting on the motor. So these are held together with magnets. So all you really need to do to get them apart is just pull. The first one. And we're going to Okay, so I'm gonna put this white part. Now there is a certain way you have to put in the motors, of course. So make sure to read the instructions before putting in your motors and not just putting them in willy nilly. Today I will be building the uh, quadcopter version. So uh, this version that you see right here. But uh, there is four different ones. There's a hexacopter version, another hexacopter, another quad. So definitely those would be fun, you know, when you're done flying it around, take it apart, build a different one. That would be a lot of fun. Certain props go on certain uh, motors, so you're going to want to check the motor and check the letter on the prop to make sure it's right. And then once you have that, it should just push right into place. And the black ones go with the red arms and then the white ones go with the blue arms so we look it's an l so it's gonna go here and then just snaps right in then we look and it's a s so it's gonna go there the instructions aren't very clear on how to properly manage all the wires so we thought of running them through this because that looks like what they're doing in the instructions but it won't fit so we're gonna keep maybe we wrap it around this that'll i mean do some management yeah unwrap it once there we go. So yeah, just okay. Just wrap it around like that, and that'll keep it free and away from the props. So just wrap it around the arm that connects this. There. And we're gonna do that with all of them. Um, there's just one last thing we have to do, and that is attach the battery. So this is a standard 1S battery that you can find on Amazon or any hobby store really. And that's really nice because you can use aftermarket batteries or any batteries that you might have lying around the house from other quads in this drone. So basically what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to slide it right there into that compartment. And then see this little arm thing? 
they connect like that and you want to leave it on a level surface when you connect it because there is no on and off switch okay and now it's on so now you're going to want to you're going to want to take your rubber bands and wrap them around the battery compartment so we're just going to tuck this all in and around keeping the battery in and we're going to set it down and now we're going to go for our remote and this looks like your standard you know drone remote that you would get for a toy drone like this and uh, it takes four double A's and it's nice because there's no screw uh, included so you can just pop it off and you don't have to screw it off so let's go over the controls real quick this of course is your throttle and your yaw and then of course your directions these two buttons up on the top they don't do much of anything actually they don't do anything this is your high rate and your low rate these two buttons don't do anything um, then this is your trim and then this is headless mode all right so this thing is very easy to bind all you basically have to do is move the left stick up and down and then you're binded and i've already done that so you can see we can fire our props up i'm gonna back up all right here we go So I did just crash this drone and I was pretty surprised because it all looks to be intact and doing good and it is made of these little bricks that I didn't think would stick together through thick and thin but they're doing pretty well so far. So I'm going to hand this over to my dad. So Tate did the hard part. Now I'm going to see if I can fly it. Uh, so it is pulling, uh, pulling to the right a little bit so I'm going to see if there's a trim button. and maybe move this. Pulling to the right and back, so let's see if I can trim it forward a little bit. Okay, it just broke. <laughs> <laughs> and there we go. Uh, and we're done. <laughs> well, hold on, hold on, leave everything rolling. Is it still rolling? Yeah. Okay, so obviously it was, it was pulling to the right and back so I was trying to see if I could fix that uh, didn't work out so well so let me see real quick if I can just put this back together okay so I think I've repaired it uh, sorry for crashing it that was um, not not expected but I think I've repaired it I think it was pulling back into the right so I'm gonna trim forward into the left a little bit okay that's a lot better so, I'm going to try flying it around the room. It's pretty zippy, actually. Wow. Uh, yeah, it, it flies, uh, it flies okay. It's, it's definitely not a total novice, um, quad for flying it's it's definitely a little more challenging than that I do like the fact that it, it, it breaks and then it goes back together pretty easily um, and I imagine there's different configurations you can do let me try one more time um, oh and there is a H and a L button here and I think that's gonna be for high and low rate yeah one beat for low and one beat for high so I've got it in low now let me see if it's a little bit easier to fly yeah, it's a lot less aggressive. Matter of fact, um, oh, wow. He just completely destroyed it. Oh, God. It falls apart pretty easily. And we're on carpet. And we are on carpet, yeah. I can only imagine what that would be like if it had um, been on hardwood floor. Or... Does the wrap up and it's all just pieces? Okay, so one thing that's important is the balance on this thing and also cable management. The cables are kind of all over the place, so you want to make sure you get them out of the way before you take off. Um, but also just the balance of it. Um, 
it is easy for things to shift around a little bit, including the battery. So you kind of want to just get everything really nice and centered before you try and fly. And that way it's not going to drift as much. I think that might have been part of the problem on our first flight. So I'm going to take it up, fly it around the room a little bit. It is challenging to fly. Make sure I'm in low rate and see what I can do. I'm going to see if I can land it gently on the table. Uh -huh. Nice! Hey, there we go. I'm going to try the headless mode. Daddy! Oh god, that was almost so bad. Wow. Daddy. You was just that like the minute you put it into headless mode? Yeah. It went kind of crazy. Uh, so we put it in head, well, my dad put it in headless mode and it just immediately nosedived toward the TV and just busted into a thousand pieces. So that's where we are. My thoughts on this drone. Or it's interesting. It's not for inexperienced pilots. It's not for cluttered rooms. And it's definitely an experience to build it yourself. You know, it's an easy build. It's a fun build. Uh, probably 20 minutes it took me. Uh, anybody can do it. Uh, no matter how much experience you have. The instructions are pretty informative. So even though this drone might be challenging to fly... Um, even if you crash it and it ends up like it is right now, then you can easily rebuild it and you can even rebuild it in another form. So I would recommend this drone for parents and kids who want to have some fun building a drone and seeing the mechanics behind it. But just make sure that it's not your first drone that you f try to fly because in my opinion and with my experience, I would say that it is a bit of a challenge to fly and manage. So... You know, but have fun with it. Maybe try to make your own um, configuration. And I hope you enjoyed this review. If you want to check out more drone stuff or these awesome t-shirts, the link will be in the description. And don't forget to subscribe.